morning. It is nine o'clock and we're on the barn conversion. Today we are going to be doing the dog tooth on the flat roof. Got set up on Friday, but all these bricks were soaking. So I've left them aerated and drying all weekend. So we'll see how we get on today. Right, catch you in the next clip. <laughs> important that you don't put too much bed on because you don't want to be smashing your brick down so you want quite not a tight bed but you just want enough so your brick is like a mill away from the line and all you got to do is just sink it down nicely with your hand sand because if you start bashing it down you'll knock this one and that one and they'll all just want to go over. So it's important just to have a nice tight bed. Little wiggle down. Here we go then, we have finished our two oversailing courses. Overall we got out about 40 mil, 20 each course. Um, so they are just starting to roll over. Just starting to roll over a little bit. I've tried to tweak them back, but you can only do so much. If anyone else has laid these bricks, they know as soon as you lay them, the bed pretty much goes off. So there's not much I can do, apart from just gently tweak them just putting my finger under the perk to act as a stop end. There we go. And then the bricks here, they're just getting a cheeky finger because this point is pretty rough looking anyway. And then the underside of this top over sailor is getting a cheeky trowel <laughs> just to make it look quite sharp. Oh, spot on. Thank you very much, matey. There we go, my tea's ready. Right, I've just put the old skiing coat on because it is really cold now. It is, what time's it? It is five to 12. And I'm just gonna point up all my dog tubes now. So I'm gonna see how long this takes me. I'm gonna try and do it as quick as possible. But this is probably more time consuming than laying these three courses. So I'll check in with you once I'm done. Let's crack on. Quart to one, when did I start? Five to twelve, so almost a full hour of this sort of pointing, but it's not too far off. This section here I've titivated nice, nice and smooth, just need to go over the wet stuff down there. If anyone knows a quicker way of pointing these off, please let me know. That's the most time consuming part just getting our last oversailer on using the old line tied to a scaffold listen to this nice and tight best way to keep a really tight line 
because you can never pull when you've got a pattern. You always end up pulling it down. Line on the scaffold, nice and tight. Easy peasy. Right, let's crack on. There we go then. So we have finished for today. It's been one of them days where I'm just like a bit everywhere and trying to stay warm. But we got there in the end. This pattern is done. That size done. All I've got to do is the gable with the pattern going up there like I did on the garage. But yeah, overall, it's not been a bad day. This pattern's gone all right. Probably not the best as this brick here really wanted to fall. I was just about able to save it, um, but it don't look too bad. Like I said earlier, it's right at the back of a flat roof. So no one's gonna see it, but it is decent. I'm quite pleased with myself, but yeah, sad. Right, that is it for today. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you in a bit.